Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, the Sexy Ranch and Calder Ness, myself, is building out of Avengers Infinity and the Dial H for Hero Cooks heavyweight champion, Simeon Bruce, is building out of X-Men Xavier's School. Simeon, tell the people who's on your team. Oh, yeah. Starting off the team is none other than the lady herself. She's much more important in the next set that is coming out. Well, actually, it came out today as we're recording this. Uh, Moira McTaggart, except this is the Pawn of the Shadow King Prime version. So she does one cool thing, in my opinion, and that's when an adjacent friendly character uses mind control, they can use it with three targets. So she gives triple target out to mind controllers. Uh, mm. She also has a trait, Arena of Death and Science. Free, choose a character in a KO area and turn it to its starting click this game. Choose a standard power that character can use, and Moira McTaggart can use the chosen power until your next turn. I guess that's mm. okay. Um, yeah, it's actually that's probably the trait I'll get more mileage out of this game, because uh, up next is the only mind control I have on the team, and it's on his last two clicks, Professor X Dreamer. Um, he's a title character. That's all that he does. Uh, <laughs> so he starts with TK. So you talk smack change. about my man Dreamer like that, all right? <laughs> he does have willpower for his first three clicks. Hopefully I can damage him until he has some useful stuff like mind control and enhancement. Um, his plus one is violence is not the answer. Free, all friendly characters within range Weird. modify defense plus one until your next turn. A really solid power. Uh, his minus four is free. Choose an opposing character within range and line of fire. It gains immobile and modifies its attack minus two until your next turn, which would be cool if I didn't want to save up till the minus nine, which is the dream of peaceful coexistion. Coexistence. Jeez. I don't, what is coexistion? Is that a thing? Um, ask me. Yeah. It is. Uh, so free for the rest of the game as long as Professor X Dreamer is on the map. Friendly characters reduce damage taken by an additional one, which is awesome until he's not on the map, like if he it gets is, KO'd, yeah. because then opposing characters modify damage plus one for the rest of the game. So mm. it's a cool minus nine. He starts with three, so it'd take me at least seven turns six to get turns, that many. Seven so six to, to build it, up, yeah. and then seven, the seventh turn to activate. So... It's a it's a dream. It's definitely a dream. I don't know if it'll happen. Um, next up on the team, one of my Hellions that I have is Dust. I really like Dust. I've played this figure a ton. She's unique. Um, as in, she has a silver ring. Not unique to anything else. But uh, She's got the ex-student trait, which is when this character or an adjacent friendly character's attack roll includes exactly 1-5, modifies the target's defense minus 1, uh, scouring Sands trait. Smoke Cloud is free, but only to place four markers at the end of each opponent's turn. Deal one damage to each opposing character occupying or adjacent to a Smoke Cloud marker placed by Dust, which is crazy good. She doesn't have stealth, but it's still giving you like a 17 for range. Except uh, her special defense power here, Super Senses, Dust modifies defense plus one for each adjacent Smoke Cloud marker placed by her. So she's already at a 20 most of the time for free. So one of the probably best mm. stat modifying, like self stat modifying figures I've ever played. Not like a crazy good like puncher or like attacker or anything like that, but free smoke cloud and a 20 defense top dial is pretty awesome. Uh, precision strike isn't too bad either. Next up mm. is good old Laura Kinney. I don't know why that's her last name, but it is. Uh, All new Wolverine for 100 points. She starts with charge blades, moves on to some no charge blades, and then ends with charge blades. Uh, she's got unexpected team up trait, which I'm not using for this team. But during Force Construction, all new Wolverine games, all the keywords of one character she shares at least one of her printed keywords with. So she has got X-Men. Uh, everything on this team has X-Men. It's pretty easy to make an X-Men team mm. an X-Men set. 
Uh, her second trait is Jonathan, the unstoppable Wolverine. Free once per game, generate a Jonathan bystander. The first time each game that bystander would be KO'd, instead, it isn't. Which is always fun. Jonathan's down there, charge blades. Who would have thought? Um, also Battle Fury, which Laura also gets late dial. And then Kickstarted Healing Factor. At the beginning of your turn, you may roll a d6 and add the number of action tokens on all new Wolverine. On a final result of five or more, heal one click, which is probably the worst possible hmm. way to show case. It's a pretty. Factor. It's. I mean, at least she has indomitable. It's really iffy. Yeah, at least she has indomitable, but it's not even yeah. like she gets some regen like, later too. It's nice. Like no, like uh, heal one when you clear action tokens. Nothing like that. It's you still have to roll. It's at the beginning of the turn, mm, so yeah. if I forget, then I just don't get to do it. And I'm going to want to try it most of the time when I have two action tokens. Um, of course, I'm just going to do it every turn regardless, but if I remember. Then next up, Wolverine, 50 points. Uh, he doesn't really Ugh. do a whole lot. Um, so he's only got Charge, Blades, Toughness. For I'm playing him at 50 points. Uh, Charge Blade's toughness, he does get a special defense power that is, I'm still Wolverine, stop, regeneration. Um, I guess he's got a trait, Headmaster, so he gets leadership perplex, but only to target uh, X-Men keyword people, which my entire team is. During Force Construction, I can include a student ID card without adding its cost. I did not do that. That would be mean. Calder's already... Oh, have a thank bad you. Time. Thank you. Um... He's yeah, sorry, got... he's not looking good. <laughs> he's also got the trait, stay away from my students, free, make a close attack, but only to target an opposing character that damaged another friendly character with the X-Men keyword with an attack since your last turn. So it's like uh, Colossal Retaliation, except on a single base figure. And, uh, yep, that's about it. Um, Cyclops mm -hmm. is the only other one I remember that had that as well. And then... A different kind of professor is his last trait, which is sidestep. If he's closer to the opponent's starting area than his own, he can use flurry. If he's closer to mine than Calder's, he can use combat reflexes. So, not a whole lot going on. Also, he's indomitable, and he's got the X-Men team ability. So, Yeah, he does such little for your team. It's yeah, crazy. No one ever used him. It's kind of a hidden gem. Yeah, no one ever uh, used that Wolverine, oddly enough. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, next Jeff. up is the Age of Apocalypse Angel. So this guy's real cool for a couple of reasons. He's got sidestep stealth shape change, but only if he's not adjacent to a friendly character. You never know who's watching. He has a trait, Survivor of the Age of Apocalypse, for now. This is what all the Age of Apocalypse from this set had. When Angel is damaged by an opposing character, give that character a Revenge token. When Angel attacks a character with one or more tokens named Revenge, modify attack and damage plus one. When Angel is KO'd, you may choose an opposing character with a token named Revenge and remove all of those tokens and roll that many D6s. For each roll, five to six, deal that character one penetrating damage. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of reducers, so they're not going to rack up a ton of revenge tokens, sadly. But uh, it's possible. Yeah, that's true. And then on his last click, he has trying to set things right, his special attack power. And it's an attack power that is a stop click, which is interesting. Uh, free deal three damage to each other character within five squares and destroy each piece of blocking terrain within five squares. Then deal Angel one unavoidable damage. So this is his explosion power, which is really fun. It also damages friendlies, so it's not necessarily something I want to happen. But uh, what's really fun is this trigger. This also triggers his survival of the Age of Apocalypse trait. So when he's KO'd from this after dealing three to every character within five, he can also then potentially remove revenge tokens from somebody and deal them penetrating damage. Yeah. So. He's got a ton of stuff going on. Uh, then I've got a TK piece. This is Hellion. He's 40 points. Uh, he has the keyword Hellions, which is just multiples of himself. He has the Hellions trait, which again is multiples of himself. When this character's attack roll is 10 or more, damage dealt by that attack is penetrating. Um, 
he also has the X student, which is the same as Dust's. If somebody, if him or somebody adjacent to him rolls a five in their attack roll, I can modify a target's defense by minus one. Then he has a special TK, which is when he uses TK, you may deal him one unavoidable. And if I do, after resolutions, he can use TK at no cost. So a whole lot of TK in mm. going on. That's kind of his whole thing. He's got leadership, six mm. range, 40 points. And that is the whole team. I already did Professor X Dreamer. Yeah, that's it. So, I really don't need to go into my team because it's all gonna die uh, pretty badly. <laughs> so let's just let's just go into it. Uh, first up, Golden Skull. We talked about this guy on a generic a gallery on the podcast. Uh, he has the first trait. Normal people don't come with death rays. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the game, generate two death bot bystanders. You can see him right down there. If Golden Skull is on the map, death bots actions do not count against your action total. So that's really nice uh, for me. Uh, they got some sidestep pen blast with some two damage. Pretty good for range. I like him a lot. Then he has a special damage power, which is super helpful. For plex and leadership, adjacent friendly characters modify attack value plus one. And then he has sidestep and mastermind. He's a pretty useful little uh, guy on the team. Next up is going to be Venom Space Knight. Look at him. He's a big, he's a big bulky boy. This is, of course, Eddie Brock as Venom. Uh, not a lot of crazy traits or anything. He has improved movement, ignores hindering, sorry, ignores elevated and hindering terrain. And then he has the alien symbiote trait, which gives him plasticity and shape change and the fact that he breaks away automatically. Besides that, running shot pen blast, a little bit of perplex, uh, some nice powers, some some Spider-Man TA for him to copy. Uh, let's see, uh, no team abilities on this team. Nice. Next up is going to be Cosmo. I like Cosmo a lot. Cosmo's fun. He has improved targeting, ignores hindering terrain. He has a trait called Origin before the Guardians. If Cosmo is part of a Guardians Galaxy team team, which he is not, he would have protected outwit. How otherwise, he modifies his attack and defense value plus one this game. So he's going to be a 19 defense, 11 attack, uh, top dial with a 17 defense, 13 attack on his last click, which is really cool. He has a special speed power for his first four clicks, which is I am Cosmo, I am in brain. Uh, mind control, when Cosmo uses it to target more than one character, modify his attack value plus one. So if you're tracking, he can have up to a 12 attack on his first click or a 13 attack on his second click if he uses mind control to target two or more people. Uh, then in the middle of his dial on clicks two through four, he has you have loud brain free. Choose an opposing character within range, which is for Cosmo, it's six range and ignores hindering, which is nice. Until your next turn, that character can't be given power actions. Really cool, Cosmo. Very cool. A little, little space dog, a little Russian space dog. Uh, next up is Captain America Principled, uh, the first title character that Cap ever was. Such and I really like one. this title character. He's, he's great. Uh, he's not... Okay, I shouldn't say he's great. I've tried <laughs> to make him work a lot. I really like the idea of this Captain America. I think he's really cool. Uh, so he starts with two plot points. He's got an all right dial. It's all ESD. <laughs> So it's a little tough keeping him alive. Uh, but he has a really cool plus one that helps him and can help the rest of his team really well. So uh, his plus one, which is the even in the face of genocide, we can't become murderers. Um, yeah, no comment, Cap. Uh, anyways, free. When a friendly character uses force blast, incapacitate, or smoke cloud during a costed action, after resolutions, remove an action token from them. So this really helps himself a lot, too, if he's just going to be incapacitating the whole game. Uh, just keeps those action tokens off of him. He can potentially just keep incapping people each turn. Uh, he doesn't have to hit. They just have to use it, and they get a token removed, which is nice. His negative two is really great. Uh, we need to imprison them, not kill them. Barrier is free. When Captain America Principled uses it, place up to eight blocking terrain markers. Yeah. Chef kiss. I love uh, that barrier is, is probably the thing more people have used. I prefer the whole in-cap thing. I think that's really cool. Uh, but anyways, the barriers are also really good. And then his negative four is diplomacy may fail, but not trying is admitting defeat. Free, if no character has made an attack this turn, until your next turn, characters can't make attacks except using incapacitate. This includes friendly characters. So if you build your in-cap team sort of right, there there's going to be a couple of turns where your opponent just can't attack you if they don't have incapacitate which really right. sucks for them so that power so doesn't this, grant this incapacitate. Really well. it just says they can't yes. make attacks except using incapacitate so if they don't have access to it then they're just out of luck no attacks yep. yeah which is really gnarly yeah um and then 
they can obviously damage you in other ways that isn't an attack, but still, it's pretty huge. Uh, and then if he dies, uh, when he's KO'd, friendly characters gain Battle Fury for the rest of the game, which can be a blessing and a curse. I think on this team, uh, it's definitely more of a curse. Looking yeah, you've got at a the, lot of range. A lot of range. Uh, and then lastly, we have Terminator, who is going to be uh, Captain America's big buddy here with his running shot, uh, incapacitate with five range triple bolts. So hopefully we can get some cool stuff happening. Uh, the Terminator has Skeletorian reactive armor, toughness, invulnerability, but only when targeted by aliens. I can't do that. It's really bad. Uh, he has toughness but and invulnerability, but only when targeted by a ranged attack. That is his just trait. So he's always got toughness, which is cool. And then his special defense power is literally nothing. When Terminator is adjacent, one or more friendly characters with the Space Knight keyword, modify defense value plus one. Wait, does Venom have the Space Knight keyword? Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Look at it's that. Venom name. Space Knight has the Space Knight. Yeah, but I didn't know if he was actually like a member of the Knight crew, you know? So that's pretty cool. So it will actually work on this team. No one else is a Space Knight but Venom. But yeah, so that is that is the Avengers Infinity team. No big figures, despite this being a super booster set. Not that there weren't votes for them. They just did not get enough votes or fit on the team. So, Simeon, you somehow uh, managed to win map with a plus yeah. seven to map roll. With Don't only, know how you could have possibly done only that. Only a plus seven. Uh, so, I put us on yep. whatever this is. Uh, Sentinel Destruction Yard. <laughs> so, no need to roll for leaderships this turn. Uh, we are going to carry X-23 up with Angel. Let's see. I can't remember what all he has on that speed power. I know it's sidestep, stealth, and shape change, so he's going to want to move to some stealth. He has nine speed. He's going to go eight squares. Let's see. We'll just move him to here drop x23 there also for this map we decided that these white squares are the ladders to this elevated terrain because there's no printed right. ladders and there's nothing saying what these white squares are so it would make sense so that's probably what they were intended to be but no idea uh, that is an action for angel let's we'll sidestep dust up and then probably just move dust. Oh, that's what I forgot to grab. I forgot to grab smoke clouds. So dust is going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go right there. That seems safe enough. And then I will grab some smoke clouds. So we'll go one there. One there. One there, and one right there. That seems safe. Um, I think I'm going to do some TKing with Hellion next, because that's really the only reason he's on the team. Mm. So we will TK Moira up six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then she's going to sidestep 012 into the smoke cloud. She's going to perplex up her own defense because Dust is already at a plus three. And then Hellion's going to take an unavoidable damage to, at no cost, TK, uh, I guess, Professor X Dreamer. Ugh. Let's see, a square that they can both see. Um, go like right right there Ugh. he does have willpower so. no respect i tell you no respect <laughs> at all um i think he's fine right there for now that is three actions this is 400 point game uh so last action is going to be wolverine just walking his sad lonely self up one two three four five six seven eight he'll go right there mm. and uh angel and all new wolverine will perplex up each other or themselves it does not make a difference uh wolverine will 
perplex up Moira because I have not enough perplex. That is my whole turn. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do on my turn is really tough. I'm going to, I'm going to quite the pickle. Uh, Simeon definitely has the, uh, close combat advantage, we shall say. And I don't necessarily have wild, crazy reach on my dudes. So sort of, sort of weighing my options here. Uh, nothing's really going to help me against dusts, dustus's super senses that much. So she's going to be a 20. Uh, Moira is going to be a 19 no matter what. So Moira is the easier thing to hit. Uh, in order to get a hit off, we're going to have to ooh, TK someone up with Cosmo. Potentially. We're going to do these death bot sidesteps while I figure out what I want to do. Hmm. One, two, there. One, two, three, four. It's still not great. Four, we'll move him. Four, their actions don't count against my. Well, he shouldn't be in the middle like that. I want him. There we go. All right. Little, little sort of not really autonomous actions due to uh, Mr. Golden Skull sidestepping Golden Skull to there. Um, I'd have Cap sidestep to there for now. So now we got two TK choices. Mm, I think we're gonna keep Cap here. We'll we'll keep him there. We might tactically use that sidestep later. Same thing with the uh, Golden Skull, I think. So mm, it's a really tough pickle, guys. I'm gonna think on this. Uh, Cap's got to move if I want to TK Venom. Then we can also move the Terminator to both those perplexes into attack. Would be a 13. And then, or Golden Skull, we could do one perplex damage, be for four. So we could be a 13 for four with Golden Skull. So I think we're going to have. Captain America fly up. Well, first we'll TK. Sorry, this is going to be a lot of stuff. I need to keep track. This is going to be just, it's a wacky turn. We're going to TK this dude out. One, two, three, four, five, six to there with Cosmo. Hmm. We'll go ahead. He only has five range. One, two, three, four, five. So he needs to go two more squares to see someone. So Golden Skull needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, if he moves seven to here, this guy's here. One, two, three, four, five. So you won't be able to see him once he's in that square. So Golden Skull will move there. Golden Skull will perplex up the damage value on the Terminator. Let's check this line. Uh, we'll have, what's his face? Uh, Venom perplex up the attack value on the Terminator. Brings him up to a 12. And then the Terminator will then running shot to here. Right, 12. He'll still get a plus one. So he'll be a 13 for four. Targeting both Moira. One, two, three, four, five. So we can't target Wolverine. She'll, she, Wolverine. So we'll target both Moira and Dust. Uh, so it'll be a 13 for four. Need to roll a seven to hit Dust. Need to roll a six to hit Moira. Uh, we can see what happens. Wow, a seven will hit them both. She gets dual super senses before I decide to divide damage. Hmm. She will get an action token for that. I think I will use a theme team prob from my. Uh, yes, here we go. All right. Nobody on nobody's ever run an X Men team with theme team props before. That's right. A crit hit, you say? Uh that will just hit Moira. That would have been awesome. Trust me, I would have loved a crit hit. But that will just hit Moira now. You're dishing out five damage? Is that right? I'll be dishing out four damage with Terminator. Uh, four is enough anyhow. Uh, let's see. Sweet. 
So free, choose a character in my KO area, turn it to its starting click. So I can just do that with her, and then she just doesn't die. So no, turn her to that's her not how that works. Uh, and then I get to pick a power. Right. I'm going to pick her will. Then we're going to fly Captain America out to there, carrying Venom Space Knight to here. Uh, give Cap an action token. And then we're going to sidestep back with Captain America to here, placing the Terminator here. And say it is your go. That'll be our final. That's everything. Okay. Making it hard for Wolverine to get over there. Got a death bot. I want to oh, get yeah. my free attack for you hitting my uh, X-Men. I mean, I could just walk the long way and make it, but that would be silly and definitely not worth it. Um, uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. What does Professor Extremer have going on right now? He has nothing. I will start by rolling for Wolverine's leadership. Does not get it. I will roll for Hellion's leadership, which does not matter. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to sidestep Angel to here for now going to move mm. let's see uh huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> don't worry take your time I kind of took my time on my turn too uh, Golden Skull's got Mastermind right now, right? Ugh. Yeah, he does. So, if I roll, blades, wow, I'm gonna need. Okay, to after last episode, I don't want any. I don't want anyone to go, Ugh, Mastermind. Okay, after what happened last week. Yeah, that's right. cool. Was there the... was there Mastermind on my team? There was a little bit of Mastermind <laughs> on your team. Sam. Um. So we're gonna move Laura. I think I'm just gonna go all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go to here with her. And then I'm gonna generate my Jonathan. But where do I want to generate him? Uh, yeah, let's go generate him here. Um, he doesn't have flurry or anything special like that, but we will perplex up. Let's go 10 into a 17. Laura's going to perplex up her own defense. Angel's going to perplex up Jonathan's attack, and he is going to attempt to blades Golden Skull. Mm hmm. Okay. So I have an 11 tier 17. And then I need to roll. I need to roll higher than a 2, just so if you do mastermind to Venom Space Knight. Is that... That looks all tilty. Is that all tilty? Looking, looking pretty cocked. Yeah, it's tilty. All right. Yeah. But I don't think you can't hit a six. I'm just gonna assume you're gonna hit the six. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, can roll blades if you want to. I'm just gonna give it to this death bot. Oh, there's a death bot over there. No matter what. Uh, yeah. I didn't see that guy. Okay. Yeah, I'll roll blades. Yeah. Three. Yeah, because if you roll one, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> death bot dies. All right. And kill the death good, bot. Good. That's two actions. 
Uh, my smoke cloud should have gone down first. So let me go ahead and move that for now. It's going to be like semi-permanent since it's a free thing that's traded. So let's see. I don't think dust is going to go anywhere super fast. So let's just sidestep one, two. Dusty, 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 dusty. Let's see. Wolverine can charge. One, two, three, four, five. So he's going to have to use his traded sidestep first. And then he will charge. One, two, three, four. Let's go right there. Uh, he is closer to Calder's side of the map than his own. So he will be able to use Flurry. Uh, 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 did you not? Did you not have uh, much experience and fun with this Wolverine when he was modern? Uh, I had so much, <laughs> as you would say, experience and fun with that Wolverine. So we're gonna Flurry Blades. Such a Still fun time having so much fun. Yeah. Gosh. That is exactly a six. That's it. That is a six. By all means, roll blades. We shall see what happens. Uh, poor Venom Space Knight. Four oh. damage. Do they share a key? So, this is where... No, they don't. So, he just dies. They actually... Yeah, you're right. They don't share a keyword. So, Golden Skull does just die. Bummer for... Go bummer for Golden Skull. Yeah. Ah. Uh. But Calder did manage to keep me from making my second attack with Flurry. So. That is true. Fair enough. That's pretty, pretty solid strategy. Um, I don't think I'm going to use Professor X Dreamer at all during this game. So. Yo, he's good, though. I'm just going to say that. Like, whether or not Simeon yeah. utilizes him, I like Professor X Dreamer. I'm just afraid I've said of enough him on the podcast dying enough really time. soon with that 17, so I don't want to be hey, baby, 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 baby. Um, Let me write you a prescription for a pair of balls, Simeon. <laughs> what is it? Seven squares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to move to right behind Dust. There you go. And I will activate his... Plus one, all friendly characters within range, modify defense, plus one till your next turn. So I'll do that. I'll mm. give him a dice so I can keep track. He's at four plot points. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's everyone but Hellion, who's still in the starting area, and will probably remain there because he doesn't have willpower. Um... Yep, I'm going to clear... Oh, well, first, Dust is going to put down her Dusty Cloud. Mm, there it is. There it is. Very smart, very smart. And... Yeah, I'll clear Angel and Dust. That's four actions. I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, Wolverine will perplex... Let's see, is Jonathan a standard size character? He will perplex up Angel's defense because he can see Angel. Um, Angel perplexed okay. up the Jonathan. Yep. And then you killed my other perplex. Now I only have three. Yep. Alrighty then. So the only person that's got leadership on my team now is Captain America. You can take it off both of those fine fellows there. Ooh, it is a big six. Uh, Venom Space Knight actually doesn't have a token, so we can just take it off of Blam Terminator, which is very, very cool for me. So, Jonathan. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. We can do some very interesting things this turn. Uh, potentially, take some figures. Out, out the game uh, early on. We got to play. I was going to originally have some happy dappy, uh, incapacitating uh, bull crap going on, but much too serious for that. This game is much too serious. So we got to play hardball. Captain America is going to do plus one plot points. I didn't even grab a dice for him. 
Uh, he should be at three now. He's going to use yeah his plus one to make it, so that way if anyone uses incapacitate this turn or force flash or smoke cloud during a costed action, after action is resolved, they can remove an action token from themselves, which is really, which is really cash money. Holding off on that for right now, we are going to have Venom Space Knight just go ahead and perplex up his attack value, and then he is going to running shot. He automatically breaks away. He'll running shot to right here. And he is going to target, let's make it Jonathan and mm. all new Wolverine. Okay. So it's going to be a 12 to some 17s, I believe. Uh, all new uh, For four damage due to the something. engineer. I don't know. 17, she, right? She's, well, she perplexed herself plus Professor X Dreamer's uh, oh, defense okay. boost. So she's a 19, I think. Oh, okay, sure. Gotcha. So we need a seven then. Go with that. Um, that will hit Fudge. She doesn't have perplex, does she? Jonathan has perplex. No, wait, no, yeah, she does have perplex. <laughs> Most people just perplex up Jonathan. All right, cool. I guess we deal one to Jonathan. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. Cool. He does a little flip. How? Yeah, how lame of you, Simeon. Uh, all right, next up. So that is Venom. That was lame. We were supposed to then deal three to her and just nuke her the next next uh, action. That's fine. We can still do that. Next up is Terminator. He's going to be running shotting uh, to here. Uh, triple target incapacitate Jonathan, Wolverine, and all new Wolverine. Uh, no incapacitate. So he is Jonathan. just going to be a, a 11 to why not? Because he is an angry Wolverine. Ah, right. That's right. That's right. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Actually, can we get you in a better spot then? One, two, three, four. Sure. We'll uh, we'll incapacitate Dust as well, I suppose. Oh. I really wanted to murder Jonathan and incapacitate. I forgot he had uh, whatever. So yeah. So it's Dust, Wolverine, and all new Wolverine. Ooh. I will hit 17s from range. So I think does that just hit Wolverine even, or does he have an 18? Uh. So yeah, he's an 18 because he's within. Professor X's plus one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Professor X. I forgot to. So I'll get a Professor token X. and then I will remove it after I can resolve. Uh, so yeah, due to cap, he does not get a token, which is nice. And then, mm, very inconvenient, my dice rolls. We're going to have Cosmo needs to cause some damage here. Uh, sadly, he can only target all new Wolverine, so he won't get any plus ones to his attack value at all is a pretty huge bummer so he could just let's see sure that pog is so annoying uh let's have cosmo mind control you can only target one person which is such a huge bummer so he'd be an 11 to her 19 we need an eight or higher let's go for it huh cosmo we're just gonna try to uh, try to mind control her huh here goes. Uh, I've been rolling sixes. Can we roll something higher? That is a no. I'll hit a 16 yes, and thusly uh, no. fail. Yeah. Uh, it's Cosmo. He's got willpower, so he's fine. Cosmo still has an outwit. He could outwit. Uh, let's do all new Wolverines. Mm, if we get rid of her perplex, she's an 18. We could try to roll a nine with the Doom bot. We're not going to do that. We're going to sidestep the death bot, though. Up to here. Hmm. Let's outwit our combat reflexes, and we'll have Captain America try to take a swing. Cap's got Indom. See what happens here. Ah, okay, that will hit a year nineteen, so it will miss by one. Very it cool. It is a much better roll. Very though. cool. It is a much better roll. That is fair enough. Um, so that is everything I can do this turn. We're gonna go ahead and clear the death bots, and it is your go. All right. We tried to do a lot of things. One of them uh, kind of worked. Didn't really work, though. So kind of just sucks. <laughs> kind of well, sucks. Jonathan is down to one life. So uh, he was Yeah, KO'd I wouldn't once. call that a win. It's something, though. Um, I'm going to try leadership with Wolverine. A five. I can only take that off I of hate Jonathan. You so much. So 
Jonathan gets one more time, one more turn in the sun before he's taken out for good. Uh, let's see. I can't target uh, Jonathan with Perplex for Wolverine because he does not have any keywords. And it's only for X-Men, so... That's pretty cool. I'm going to Perplex up Jonathan with all-new Wolverine instead of regular Wolverine. So he will be an 11 with Blades. Mm. Mm. I think I want to go after... I really want to take out Captain America principled and just give your whole team Battle Fury with their run yeah. shot. Um, yeah. Because that'd be just super that would rude. Suck. But instead, I'm going to charge be awful. and go after Venom Space Knight. Mm. He did me wrong, so now I'm going to okay. take him. Uh, so I have an 11 into your 18, and I will have to use Blades if I hit. Mm-hmm. That is a 17. So ah, I hoping that would be a crit. One. Hoping that would be a crit miss, but it's all right. No, it was not. Uh, but now Wolverine can see. Uh, yeah, he can see uh, all new Wolverine. So he's gonna perplex up her attack to a 12, and she's gonna try and blades Captain America principled. Hmm. It's going to be bad news bears for us, folks. Oh, no. Wolverine's down. Uh, oh, why Why now. would it be anything but an 11? Was he here? All right. Or was he there? Yeah, he was there because he was right next to... No, because Jonathan was right here, okay. so he was here. It, it, okay. Well, I wasted my good blades rolls, though, so let's see how much damage we deal to good old Captain mm, America. Fingers crossed the for a one or two. He's got principles. He's uh, not going to... Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt my soul a little bit. Damn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> That's just oh. pure luck. That's not... That's not even a good team. That's just uh, ah! crazy stupid. Ah. Uh, uh. Timmy, you know how you know how to reverse time in this, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah! Uh. Uh! <laughs> I should have asked why. Ah! Uh! Uh! <laughs> So now that Captain America is dead, uh, that would mean every character on my team gains Battle Fury for the rest of the game. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I was just trying to attack what? You. you know what you did when you rolled that <laughs> dice! Uh, that's true. Um, let's sidestep dust and oh my head just hurts she's gonna punch uh the remaining death bot uh he's a 16 17. that probably hits give it 10 attack yeah. yeah that'll be the death bot um that's one two Three. What is Angel doing? I think I'm gonna have Angel go after Cosmo. Sidestep, stealth, shape change. He does not have move and attack, unless you consider sidestep move and attack. So he's gonna move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then he will sidestep to here. He's going to perplex up his own defense. And mm. I have leadership, so I can do one more thing. One, two, three, four. Hellion is going to walk six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. The crowd goes wild for Hellion. 
Professor Extremer will clear, and Wolverine will clear. The Extremer, mm. Extremer. Okay, uh, here we are. Here we are. Uh, we'll have Cosmo out with the Perplex on Angel. I think is the best thing we can do there. Let's have Terminator. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he's gonna punch uh, the thing. We'll perplex up Terminator's attack value as well. Um, my dice are no longer pink; they're blue now. It's Jonathan strange. is uh, a Wolverine. Jonathan, I have three Wolverines. Uh, very ugly picture. The weird bear people chose for Jonathan. Very awful picture. Wow. Uh, that will hit an eighteen. Yeah. With the perplex. Get rid of Jonathan. Very cool. Um, and dang, I just phew, clear with term. I mean, just yeah, clear with Venom Space Knight. Clear with Cosmo. Um, yeah. So like Jonathan's like normal thing is like a really cute Wolverine and like a mask thing. It just shows this ugly picture. Those those we punch bears guys. I know I give them a lot of guff, but this is probably this is a terrible one. This was like genuinely bad. Normally I just like joke and like when I make fun of their tokens, that's like genuinely a terrible token. They they choose some wacky box art. Even if that is Jonathan from the comics, they choose some wacky art to use for tokens sometimes. I don't know if it can Anyways, cause... that's that's all I can do. Yeah, the normal one. Uh eh, maybe this is him when he's like No, the normal angry. ones. The normal yeah, one might be. Yeah, has like a little mask. He looks almost like a badger. This must be him when he's like super mad or something. All right. All right, dude. Yeah, just go for it. Just, yeah, this will be the shortest Thursday throwdown we've ever had. Yeah, it might. It just might be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start pushing people. So I feel like now that Calder has map wide battle fury. <laughs> It's gonna be rough. See, go he guys. doesn't even. I'm not even a threat. I'm not even a remote threat to Simeon anymore. He's like, I'm just gonna start pushing people. Like, I am not a threat. I am a zero percent threat <laughs> to Simeon and his livelihood at this like moment in time. Um, he so does not care. So uh, with no does... range or meaningful movement attack, Angel just shits on my team. Uh, everybody <laughs> kind of does actually. They just sort of take turns doing it. Angel doesn't uh, have perplex anymore. So he's just gonna try and he does punch not have perplex anymore. the dog for two damage. Does he have? Wait, wait, wait. Does he have whatever? He's got two tokens. Is he colossal stamina? I just gave one him one. Well, he, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you're me. going was, on was, your rant. Okay. Uh, that wasn't a real roll. Try that again, uh, Simeon. I was trying to be. Was I was trying terrible. to be kind and not just throw him at you. Uh, uh, ooh, crit miss. I'm okay so with that. One, two clicks. Now I have sidestep. I already had sidestep. Now I don't have stealth or shape change. Nice. Um, Very cool. Let's... Most two damage. Let's perplex uh. up Wolverine's damage to four with all new Wolverine. Okay, that Wolverine. All He's right. going to charge gotcha. one, two to here. He will attempt to target Venom Space Knight. Space Knight gets a cool shape change roll, which he won't make, but that's okay. Ah, oh, that's a four, correct. Ah. So, Seven to an 18. Need some sevens. First attack. Yeah. Hellion's down. We got, we got lucky there. All right. Second attack. We'll go against Venom Space Knight again. Okay. Yep. Got to roll. Uh, Got to watch shape change, which we may just get this time. Who knows? Uh, that is a two. Uh, why would it be anything different? Let's see, uh, needs a seven. Uh, cool. We got pretty lucky six. on that. Well, uh, I just now realized I didn't even bother putting down dust. Uh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you did last turn. Yeah. Yep. Um, because why does it matter? Yeah. Why does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me spin. I knew how I messed up that turn too. I'm just mad that I didn't uh, attack with Cap first and then move uh, when Terminator. No, I guess he couldn't have carried him, but I still could have tried to sidestep breakaway with Cap. 
which the only change would have been you had to charge. So maybe not. Maybe it's nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's blocking right there, right? That is blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Professor this, X this, like, orangish yellow. will not be able to do anything this turn. He's going to float one, two, three, four, five, six squares to there. Uh, so tantalizingly close. Licking my lips right now. He will activate a plot point to do the plus mm. one defense. So he's at five. Mm. Uh, Angel did something. Wolverine did something. Dust will sidestep two squares. One, two. Don't really feel like pushing dust. Uh, I will push dust, actually. Mm. Push dust to go. Do what even though? Here, and I'm gonna he put Cosmo my smoke cloud. He's a on top no. Of dog. He's a dog, man. Come on, let me. Yeah, he's a dog. That's gonna be that's torn hurtful. to shreds by smoke made out of sand. Jeez, oh my gosh, that's pretty. <laughs> Angel's wing is move, too move Angel, move Angel for a second. <laughs> there we go. Just like in the real game. Goodness gracious. Angels too good for <laughs> Just like in the real game. Uh, uh, he actually so... is. That angel actually is. Great. That'll awesome. put dust on click two. Uh, cool. I will clear all new Wolverine. And I will clear Hellion. Okay, so. Uh, Battle Fury. <laughs> what, a po what a power. Oh, this sucks, man. Um, let's see. Not much changes. Uh, not much changes. Let's have... We're going to perplex up the attack value of the Terminator, and we're going to have him swing against Wolverine. The Terminator. Huh? Awesome! A 16 <laughs> will miss. Very cool! Uh, that's a push for the Terminator. Next up, Venom Space Knight gonna swing on Wolverine. It's only an 11 this time. Uh, we'll need more than a 5. We'll actually need a 6. would be great. I don't even know. Nope, that's a 4. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome! Why wow! Does this, why does Tabletop Simulator hate your dice rolls? So I don't know. If I knew, I wouldn't be playing this game. Uh, let's. Sorry, sorry. I am calm. Uh, we're gonna have Cosmo outwit Dust's special defense power. Thank you for the pity points. Uh, uh, Ten to a sixteen. Can we roll? Can we roll a six? Sorry, Terminator. Um, wow, that's an eight. A bit overkill, if you ask me, but I will take him where I can get him for the whole two damage that Cosmo can deal. Uh, two dust. Deal. Uh, uh, no. One, two. Okay. Pop next. Oh, no, I wanted to give it to him. Um, okay, and uh, guess what? We have no one to clear, so we're just going to stop right there. That is my turn. All right. I forgot wow. to put, uh, deal one unavoidable to Professor Extremer for using a plot. Oh, point, yes, so. very important. Take my uh, damage where I can get it. It would not have mattered for any of the I rules. guess they had plus one defense, but I, I yeah. really... No, the other two missed mm. too much, and then Cosmo yeah. hit by too much, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, yeah. Let's see. So we will. Uh, da, da, da. At the end of each opponent's turn, deal one damage to each character occupying or adjacent to a smoke cloud marker placed by dust. So Cosmo will take one damage. Oh, should have taken one at the end of my turn, right? Or is it yeah. in your turn? How's this work here? How's yeah, this it's work the end here? Of yours. Take my dog. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't going to move. He only had mind control. I guess he does have mind control. Kind of forgot he had mind yeah, control. Do not gonna lie. He does not, however, shoot while based. Uh, yeah, you're right. He can't do it while he's a close stack. He just can't use his double targets, which sucks. But yeah, that's true. He can still do that, which is cool. Let's... That's neat. Thank you. Thank you, Cosmo. Very cool. 
Is there anything interesting I can... I really don't even need to use <laughs> Professor X Dreamers minus four because uh, making someone immobilized... I guess it does do minus two to attack. Which is pretty nice, yeah. Yeah. That could be handy. Um, just in case, we're going to... Let's perplex down Venom Space Knight's defense with all new Wolverine. She's mm -hmm. gonna charge Appreciate one, it. two, three. So that Professor X Dreamer has clear line of sight on Venom. Uh, mm -hmm. she will be an eleven with blades into a seventeen. So let's, uh, let's go for that shape change. We really need it on this attack. Uh ooh, baby, uh, and we got it. Nice five. Staying alive. Ooh, 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 staying alive. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll have regular Wolverine flurry. My Blades mm. rolls have been good, but yeah, we'll just flurry with my normal three Roll. damage. Uh, we'll go against okay. Venom Space Knight first. First, all right, let's see if we can get that shape change on Venom Space Knight. Uh, he does get it again. Very uh, cool. Keeping himself alive. So both of these attacks will have to uh, be so against the Terminator. Terminator is going to have an 18 defense because he's next to another Space Knight. So oh. uh, that, however, will hit. I roll higher uh, than Not four. rolling blades, you said? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just dealing thanks. with three. So, All right. So it'll uh, be one, one. two because of toughness. Uh, don't you get uh, invulnerability? No, only I get invulnerability from ranged attacks. Oh, for range. Okay. Range is he on yes. combat reflexes now? So or is that... Combat combat reflexes and normal battle fury, it would seem. Okay. Uh, ironic. Fury. Uh, my second attack will mm -hmm. also be against Terminator. So now I need a seven. How cool. Ah. Mm. Uh, that will hit for three. I will One, two, murderize. Three. Hey, the wow. That's so um, cool. Professor X Dreamer will. Uh, I really don't need to do any of the things, but I'll do minus four and choose to immobilize Venom Space Knight <sighs> and minus two to his attack. That'll bring You're a real bastard, to... you know that. That's <laughs> gosh, gosh. Bring me down to one Son plot point, and then. Alrighty then. I will. Very cool. Give him an action token to attempt to shoot for zero it's... damage. Yeah, but just so you can make the attack. Although if you don't make this attack, you'll take damage. All right, uh... never mind. You got to make the attack. A crit hit will do something. Um, that's still, yeah, it hits, but it does not. Okay, thank goodness, it's a three. Okay, whoa, whoa, now oh. it's a, no, never mind. All right, cool. Reduced, reduced. Uh, so yeah, <sighs> two damage that does nothing, but I don't take the unavoidable. Um, I will. Oh, got that power, huh? Still, still dusty? Yeah, the, Is that a trait? It's a trait. Yes. So yeah. Ugh. We'll go one there. Miserable. One there. Miserable. Uh, one under her. Boy, oh boy. Angel. Mm. Ugh. You and your giant wings. Okay. Hey, he's already really, uh, really shy about those. He's like, you know, try to <laughs> cut them off with a knife before. He's really sensitive about his wings. Oh, I spun him the wrong way. Now I have to. Drop mm. him. Okay. Could Those you? two clear. There That's you. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, no one else clears. <laughs> that, else is that what is happening here? Hellion's just going to keep standing right. in the very far back because he has nothing. Is this defense ESD or is it combat reflexes? It looks so funny. Uh, it looks Angels like my ESD. Is combat it's reflexes. Cosmo. It goes to ESD combat reflexes. on three That's and four. Sucks. Well, actually, no. Hang on. It is ESD right now because he's on click three. It's so, ESD. Yeah. Okay, sweet. It was so Cosmo is gonna he's gonna use his really cool damage power, and he's gonna tell Dust uh, choose an opposing character in range till your next turn. That character can't be given power actions, so no power actions for Dust. Uh, mm. Power action being regeneration, the only power she has right now. 
And then Cosmo is going to try to mind control. Ah, well, crap. Cosmo's got a freaking... Ain't got no willpower anymore. Do I even want to do that? Uh, let's see. All right, let's not do our power action thing against Dust just yet. I think... I don't know. I think we... Uh, we going to try to mind control and then try to hit Dust. It's actually easier if we just try to hit Dust with an 11. So we're just going to... We're going to punch Dust, uh, I guess, only with have Cosmo. A because you were in my smoke cloud, which well, gives gonna, you a minus one to attack. I'm going to have him. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that is true. That is correct. But also, Cosmo is not on a Guardians of the Galaxy team team. Oh, so he modifies right. his attack and defense value. Plus one this game. I think we forgot Thank about you. that earlier. All yeah. right. Might have. I might have. Um, but anyways, I'm sorry, guys. I'm yelling for comedic effect. Trust me. Uh, Simeon, see me after work. Uh, let's do, 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 do 11 against her something. Uh, right. Eight. That will hit an 18. Wow. For two damage. That is enough to take Whole out. Full damage. Oh, nice. Just exactly. Righteous. That's cool. Um, so then... I guess we can choose Wolverine. I think we can choose anybody within range for no power actions. Uh, it does not say line of fire. One, two, three. What's your range? Cosmo six. Six. Uh, I guess we'll choose a Wolverine for no power actions allowed. All new Wolverine? And yeah, all new Wolverine. Okay. I guess so. Because Angel can't be doing no power actions. Uh, Cosmo does need to take a push for that, though, however. And let's see. Fun, 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 fun. Venom Space Knight, he'll perplex up his uh, defense, and he will clear. I think this is just a bad turn to try to make dice rolls. I can't hit him without a negative two to attack. I definitely can't hit him with a negative two to attack. Uh, dust's dust. Well, yeah, get out of there. Yeah, that goes away when she dies. Cool. Neat. Neat. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's your, it's your turn. All right. Let's... Uh, we'll perplex down Venom Space Knight's defense with uh, good old X-23. And I think... I think Wolverine's just going to try and flurry him again. We'll just try and flurry. We'll go ahead and Blades. Mm. Got a decent chance wait, of rolling. does Wolverine have Colossus stamp? Oh, wait. He, no, he's got... Uh, two action tokens, so no, he, none of this will be happening. Um, okay. Blades isn't a okay. A little Blades isn't a power action though, so all new Wolverine can blades. It is not. It's just an attack. Yeah, charge, so. charge would have been, but uh, I realized I was immobile and I couldn't move. So your immobile actually did kind of help you there. I was originally going to reposition Venom Space Knight, uh, so she couldn't do anything. So no attacks would be made, but yes. that was not the case. As I was immobile, due to the fact that Professor X, <laughs> Dreamer, is a freaking awesome title character. Yes. If he wasn't so good. A shape changer, the... I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah, it is a five, so that's pretty cool. Actually, I'm okay with that. Well. Venom is staying alive, as they uh, say. Uh, yep, yeah, well. I think well, Angel's well, just going to attempt to punch Cosmo. A punch my dog, it seems. Yeah, not all dogs it go to heaven. To because this angel is going to put this guy down. Points. Ow. Oof, that was so rough. Um, <laughs> dang, that is, a, oh, that is a high roll, man. Uh, three damage. Punch. One, two, three. Ah, oh, Cosmo, no. I don't want to have to dress up as Venom Space Knight. He's so weird looking. I can't do that. I don't even know where yeah, I begin have... to do that like giant shoulder pads and uh oh you know what i did have simeon though i did have a captain america costume and like a fishbowl <laughs> those are things i had uh but here we go not a fishbowl but i guess like and, uh, a big clear bowl sidestep angel to there i will have to oh no now 40 Hang minutes on. into the game venom speech nice my only figure that's alive so let's guess who we're doing oh my gosh i forgot Move about Hellion. it oh wow one, two, wow. three, the four, goat play five, here. six. 
I could have TK and Venom Space Knight and then done another TK. Kills everyone on the team. Yikes. All right. I mean, it's possible. He has the attack and damage values. He just, yeah. He's going to struggle I mean, with the two people yeah. to heal. If he had, if he didn't have Battle Fury, then yes. Um, cool. Is that all you're doing? Yeah. All right, my turn. What did her defense get perplexed up at all? All new Wolverine. What's that? Or is she just 19? Is her defense just 19 no, from close? Yeah. Is that she it? She perplexed you down. So. Okay. All my, my attack down or what? Your defense down one, but then you made shape change. Okay. So. My defense down. Okay, that's what it was. Cool. So, yeah, it's going to be a 19. Even if we do the perplex, it'll be a seven to roll so yeah we'll flex up our attack value we'll go for the hit on all new wolverine um it really sucks uh i don't think this guy ever gets flurry you oh what uh-huh. it doesn't matter it's a four all right cool cool I cool, see. cool i will cool. be needing um these theme team problems i'll just set them over <laughs> clearly not <laughs> clearly not really Ugh. ah all right very cool very cool hmm. this team would be great if i had an outwit um yeah that's what you're missing yeah that's what you're missing i almost put leech on the team instead of all new wolverine uh so we will perplex down venom space knight's defense sidestep angel to here hmm. uh we will attempt to flurry you with regular wolverine first Throwing some blades at you. See what that is. It's going to be a six. It's going to be a one. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, let's see what happens, shall we? All right. Uh, defense is 17 now. Needs down. a six. Ah. Uh, uh, of course. The weirdest way for a dice to stop rolling. Mm-hmm. That'll hit. I will attempt to do more than Roll two blade. damage to you. What happens? Ah. All right. Okay. So that'll be five. So three, one, two, three. Uh, very cool. Is that ESD or combat reflexes? Venom Spe- that is combat reflexes. Somewhat handy. Very and nice. punted Battle Fury once again, it would seem. <laughs> You've got a lot of damage output now, at least. Uh, I do, actually. I will attempt my second attack on you. So you still have one shape up, changes. one down. It'll be an 18 defense. I guess I do still have shape change, I suppose. It would be cool to make it and then be able to do something next turn, but no, that's not going to happen. Hmm. I need a seven this time. Ah. Uh, I don't know why it would be anything else. And I will deal six. One, a one. Ah, uh, great. Four. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. All right. Um, okay. Uh, another epic Golden Age Ball has come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on our teams on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and the comment section of this video. Next week, I am going to build from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Unplugged, and Simeon will build from uh star trek the original series that is the so i'm going to do the arcade turtle set for those that may not understand and then simi is going to be the first five figure booster star trek set thank you all for watching this video i guess the only thing i know about the turtles would be the starter set shredder i really enjoyed him and i really like really good the too. rock uh, also, main set shredder is also great um all the bad guy I, the turtles are okay the starter set ones they have the uh quarter to continue trait so if you play more than one of the starter set ones um they just don't die for a little while but all the bosses have the flashing red or flashing orange trait which is the same thing but uh you don't need the tokens they just don't die so like the super rare krang is one of my favorite pieces from the set he gets shape change on a 50-50. Opponents can't use shape change. And then perplex with a plus two or minus two. But opponents can't use perplex. That is pretty neat. Simeon, what would be your picks from Star Trek, the original series? Oh, man. Just a ton of tribbles. Only tribbles. Uh, the chases are really cool. The naked time. Uh, I, th- I think that's what the episode is called. Um uh, 
Uh, yeah. Sulu and uh, Kirk. And then um, from like the main set and uh, what is it? The Orion female is a really fun generic that has some really cool mind control stuff. Um, wow. So it means kind of a creeper. He's like, give me the naked time chases and the Orion females. I'm like, whoa, hey, slow down there, buddy. Take a shower. Sulu's a handsome man who can handle a sword. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, like we said, thank you so much for watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, and as always, happy trails.